All right, this is a Xbox One S maybe controller, and this is the right trigger, uh, left trigger, or right or left left trigger. Uh, apparently, these things kind of break down. I don't even fi normally fix these things, but um, my little cousin. So I was saying that my little cousin, um, he wants to be the hero um, to his little cousin, <laughs> who's a lot younger than he is, and, and fix this thing for him. As you can see, it's got little hairballs everywhere. It's a little bit disgusting. But uh, the part's not very expensive, um, so I'm going to see if I can replace this thing without causing uh, too much, or, you know, having it be too much grief. Um, okay, so... It looks like, let's see, it looks like, okay, it looks like, let's see, let's see where the hell is the trigger at? It's right here. Okay, okay, so it's on this side. Okay, it's right here. So these four pins right here, and um, basically just take it off and then just pop a new one in. I didn't disassemble this thing, but he said it took about half an hour or so, so I don't know if that's, you can do that uh, faster or what. Um, okay, so, hey Google, turn on FM202. So I'm going to use my big, my big, uh, my big soldering iron here. Put a little bit of Amtech VS213, that's my flux of choice. So I just set this at, uh, what did I set it at? Um, I set it at four, 800 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the hottest it goes. Um, not quite sure why I set it so high, but it seems to do the job most of the time in terms of getting desoldering stuff that requires high heat. So I've got a little bit of wick here, and I'm just going to kind of pop it on here, see if I can get, see even at 800 degrees, it is having kind of a hard time desoldering this mother. Uh, let me get a bigger wick. How about that? Let's see if that works better. Don't know. Okay, that's a little bit better. That's probably the ground point. That's why it's so freaking hard to get off. It's my guess. It's my hope. Okay, yeah, see, this one's a lot easier. That must be the ground. Okay, so let's just desolder these things. Wick them. Try not to touch them because they are. It is hot. The wick is hot. I don't know if you can see that or not, but Yeah, okay. Mm. Try not to break anything. I think that's ground too. That's taking forever. Hmm. Ugh. The fuck? Okay. Mm. Mm. 
Then I'm just going to use something hard to kind of push it a little bit. Uh, it's probably not the preferred method of doing this. But I can't seem to... Yeah, it's probably not the best way to do it. Sometimes you got to use brute strength. Dang it. I'm not sure if there's, maybe someone knows of an easier way to do this, but I don't. I'm actually going to just use this wicker here to try to push this down. Well, that's not working. Let's try this. Generally speaking, you don't really want to use your iron to push down on things. So I really don't want to break it. Um, let's see. What can I do? Let's see. All right, let's try using a different one. How about that? Let's try. I don't think this is going to be hot enough, but we'll give it a shot. That's not doing a damn thing. I mean, this is doing a damn, this is doing nothing. Okay. Um. Let's see. Alright, let's get some tweezers and just start popping stuff. Not recommended, but when you have problems, then you just have to use physical force. Oh, this is taking way longer than I was thinking. All right. Alright, there you go. Well, no, not quite. <sighs> Root strength! Okay, almost. Um... Let's 
get some heavy duty tweezers. Pry this mother. Make sure I don't break anything in the process. Okay, I think we are good. Okay. There's one that's tough. Okay, let's just go on this side and poke it. Alright. Make this hole big for reinsertion. And it is out. Okay, so that's out. I mean, it seems like it's fine, so I don't, I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. I hope I took the right one out. It's possible it was the right one that was jacked up. I'm not pretty sure it's the left one. Alright, so just make sure those holes are fine. Yeah, they look fine. And then we just pop it right back in. Pop a new one right back in. Okay. Got to use a little bit of force. You see that? That looks pretty flush. Okay, that looks pretty flush, and it looks very similar to that side. And then click the button, and it goes. So let's just turn it back over and resolder now. Okay, let's clean that up, and then we'll put a little more flux. Okay. Right, let's flux this mother. I'm going to use this big one again. Okay, I hate this, I think it's 0 .015 diameter uh, solder, because it just goes way too fast. Alright, that's it, shiny joints, that's done, clean it up. And then I'll let I'll let my little cousin uh, reassemble it and test it, but I'm pretty sure it's fine. Okay, that's it. Um, let's put this back. Put this back here. All right, we're good. That's that's the end of this repair. Uh, Xbox One Series, I don't know, S or something like that. Uh, wireless controller repair. Uh, yeah, the left throttle, I guess. I just wanted to say thank you for watching our YouTube channel. We make these videos to help you guys learn how to do micro soldering uh, for normal repairs. Um, I want to take this time to promote our online course here. We created an online course hosted at Udemy.com. Um, if you go directly to Udemy, it's 150 bucks. If you go through microsoldering.com, click on store shop, and then click on this first uh, product right here, there's a coupon code that uh, gives you $50 off of our online course. So our online course, it was created by Tom and myself, 
Um, it contains four and a half to five hours of online video instruction. Um, it'll teach you everything that you need to know to get started with micro soldering. So basically, we um, we start with the basics. You know, just the component level, um, how to use ZXW tools, um, what kind of how to set up your tools, what kind of tools you need, um, how to set up your hot air rework stations, um, use your micro pencil and tweezers and DC power supply and all that stuff. And then we go into actual repairs. So the four most common problems are no backlight, no touch, no charge, and loop disease. And with the newer versions of the iPhones, um, we also have a section on uh, logic board separation because with the 10 and up, uh, the logic boards come in two pieces. So we also have a section on how to separate them and put them back together. And then our last section is um, all about data recovery. So this is, it's it's four and a half hours of just good stuff just to help you get started, okay? And with the way that cell phone repair is going these days, I think it's um, essential to learn how to do micro soldering for your business. Um, if you're interested, like I said, just go to the website here, microsoldering.com, and click on uh, store shop, and then click on this right here, and you'll get fifty dollars off. So. Thank you for watching our channel and hopefully you'll enjoy the course. Thank you.